Hi, Lisa Murkowski here. I'm so sorry that I can't be there in person to celebrate the extraordinary work that the Red Cross has done for Alaska over the past century. Think about that for a second, a century. Red Cross has been helping people in Alaska longer than Alaska has even been a state. It's really incredible. The American Red Cross Alaska plays such a critical role in our communities, providing hope and help to Alaskans during times of crisis. Whether that's assessing last year's winter storm damage in Savunga or assisting those displaced by the Basin Road fire there in Juneau last month, you can count on the Red Cross to help those in need rebuild their lives. And whether it be fire, flood, or storm, the families and communities affected by tragedy and despair know that they can rely on the Red Cross. The Red Cross is truly there when people need help the most, in their darkest hour when disaster hits. But you're also there to help us prepare. And I want to thank you for the training and the preparation that you provide for your own staff and to other Alaskans who want to be ready to respond in an emergency situation. I happen to know firsthand the importance of the emergency response training that is provided by the Red Cross. I think many of you in the room may have heard the story before, but a few years back, I really ate it while I was skiing at Alaska. I lost everything in my knee, the ACL, the MCL, the meniscus, but I was blessed that day to have been in the presence of 28 amazing patrol skiers, all of whom had first aid training from the American Red Cross. So thank you. I give my heartfelt thank you to all who are making our communities a safer and a better place to live and work. The Red Cross has been a vital presence in Alaska for the past 100 years, and I know it will continue to impact the lives of Alaskans for many, many more years to come. Thank you so much for your great work.